It's time to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Slash from NECA. Let's do this. Hey guys, me, me host Super Solo. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Time. <laughs> Turtles in Time was the video game that came out when I was a kid. Uh, me and my cousin used to play it on the, I think it was on the NES back in the day, if I remember rightly. Was it the NES, this one? Uh, if it's the game I'm thinking of, it was the one that where me yeah, I would I would go to my cousin's house because he had the NES, the original Nintendo Entertainment System, whereas I had the SNES. I believe this one came out on the NES. It was the original game, and we used to play this thing constantly. And uh, it was one of our favorite games growing up. It still is one of my favorite games to this day. Um, I love the old arcade tur turtles games, so I couldn't resist when I saw this got announced. But then I saw the prices that, that, that were attached to these NECA turtle figures, and it was like, Phew. it's like twice the amount of a regular NECA figure, and I couldn't work out why. But then, a great company, um, Geek, Geek Nerd Toys, had a sale on, um, due to the COVID-19 issue. They decided to put a sale on, and this got marked down quite substantially um, to just straight up 30 quid. So I was like, yes, I'm having one for my collection. And I went for Slash, because he's the villain. And uh, it was, I just couldn't resist grabbing a copy, uh, gra grabbing this version of the figure. Uh, so I thought, if I get one of the turtles, I'll want to get all the turtles. And it'll cost me a fortune, so I just thought I'd go for the Slash figure. Thought that'd be cool. So let's go ahead, guys, and break him out of the box, because he looks awesome. Have you seen the, they've got the side here, they've got all the different levels and things that were available. On the back, they've got a product shot with a bunch of other figures that were available in this line as well. And of course, you see the figure in there, in there as well, with his weapons and stuff. This has got the Nickelodeon logo on it as well, because Turtle's obviously Nickelodeon product these days. How do we go into this bad boy? Oh, I've got the side here. Okay. I need my, my dressy snipper snips. Let's break this guy out of the package, and then a few. Just the two holding him in. Let's get him out. Oh, he's well jammed in there, isn't I broke in them, but I didn't. The claws, the claws pop in like Logan's. Thank God for that. Uh, the the claws on this one are like they're like the Marvel Legends ones for for Wolverine. They're just popping out. Um, let's warm up these sockets a little bit because they're a bit stiff right now. Ooh, there's some green smudgy smudge on the eye, making it look a bit weird. I need to get that re rejigged. Let's get the two. We've got a uh, grenade. Also got a sword here as well. The moment Necker make is it Ace Wing Duck? What it called? The moment they make that that figure, I'll be buying that straight away. Right. And see ya! <laughs> so guys, here he is out of the packaging, looking awesome. It's Slash. He's really cool. I'm scared of breaking all these little things off in my toy box. This guy's gonna, probably going to be uh, taking pride and place on the shelf behind me because of that. I'm frightened if I put him in the toy box and wrap him up, that I think some of these things might break off of him. Um, articulation then. So let's... 
because that seems really stiff. Ooh, let's, let, let's warm this up. Oosh. So you can lift his you can lift his elbow, his arms up, um, as well as left and right and stuff. And there's also that hinge there that I've just warmed up a little bit. You can also stretch out his elbows and his hands as well are on a ball joint. His head can look up and down, left and right. Uh, there's not much of a crunch there for his legs, but his legs do lift outwards a little bit, as well as forwards and backwards. And there is a top thigh cut, and there is a double hinged knee there. And the feet are on rocket and pivot. So I definitely warm this figure up before you start really going to town on it, because it feels very stiff. I can imagine people breaking this quite easily. I'm known as being a hand-fisted kind of guy when it comes to my articulation. Um, you know, I, people, people have seen me on the channel break figures live on you know, as I'm reviewing them, so... Please take care when uh, reviewing this item. So yeah, definitely warm up these joints and things before you start playing with it too much, um, as you don't want to break the figure. It's beautifully crafted. I've done a great job with the paintwork on it. Mine's just got a few scuffs and niggles here and there, but nothing too concerning. And the main part I want to get sorted out is just the eye, because uh, obviously the eye's meant to be white with that little bit of green speck there. It makes it look like it's got a, a weird small pupil. So I want to get that repaired. But again, that's just done with a little bit of white paint. Uh, same with the sword, there's a few dinks and niggles in it. Some of it actually look alright because it looks damaged and it should do because it's a sword. The other aspect of it, you know, is it's just white paint. So if everyone wants to touch it up, again, just a touch of white on there and it'll be completely fine. What I find funny is, I know it's meant to be like shell say it's cell shaded design, but they've painted one side of the grenade and then left the other side as the base plastic, which is grey. So that's weird. Um, but what, what you can do with that grenade is you can clip it to his uh, belt, which is nice. If you wanted to. Here's what I plan on doing with it. You can sort of attach it to his waist there. And then just sort of slide it around as far as you can. Or pop it in his hand. Oh, that These little... The little paw things keep, click, click, keep clicking on and off, so that's going to be a pain. But once you've got him posed, and obviously not touching him, it won't, it won't be an issue because they are they are quite sturdy in there. It's just I keep knock, knocking the ends of them. So yes, you've got the grenade, and then you've got the sword. The sword's going to be the thing I'll be using, I'll be displaying him with, obviously most. There we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I didn't notice that. The paintwork on the belt is a bit, a bit questionable. If you look at the back, there's like grey along the top instead of white along the sides. It's very badly done. Ooh, Necker, what have you done there? Um, there is, a, is that a hole in the actual star thing? No, it's not, it's just the way it looks. Either way, I'm not going to moan too much because I do like this tool. Um, it's one that I've been waiting to get hold of, so it is one that is in my personal sort of need to have kind of thing. It brings back memories of being a kid, playing the game with my cousin late at night, you know, people telling us to go to bed, go to sleep, shut up, and me and him would be still playing turtles till stupid o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he used to love going down to his house and playing turtles on the, uh, the, old, on the old NES system. And when they brought out the arcade games again uh, for the Xbox 360, I think it was, when they brought all the arcade games out for, like, for Turtles and that, it was so cool to replay them for the modern console. It's just a shame that the, uh, the last Turtles game didn't do too well and it was a bit rushed. I'd like a really cool Turtles game that would be based on the actual um, comic books. I think that would be very cool. But right guys, I'm going to go to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this figure. So let's go to the desk cam. Beaker, be careful with that sword. Meep, 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 meep. Okay, well, this, well, Beaker's destroying the, uh, the Muppet Labs, I'll run over a little thing about Slash for you. So Slash was first introduced by Kevin Eastman back in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He appeared in the comics as a snapping alien turtle. He lived on the tropical planet that was destroyed by alien invaders. Slash soon met Krang and helped him get back to Earth under Krang's leadership. Slash sought, fought the turtles and Krang sought a new body, Shredder's body. So that's the story of our buddy Slash here. So here he is guys, out of the packaging, looking awesome. 
I really like this figure actually. It's very well done. The um the main overall look of it's great. The paint is a little bit desirable on this one. There is a few niggly issues that are beginning to annoy me now. Like I've noticed on the teeth there are some chips and things. The eye obviously was a major need to recolor that. And then obviously that belt <coughs> looks very rushed and slapdash, so I think I think Neck could have done better with the paint apps on this particular one. But then again, that could be just this particular figure. Paint apps are different on every single figure as they are painted, so these things do happen every now and again. But it's not something, like I said, that annoys me too much, and it's very easily repairable. It's very easily touched up with a bit of cathedral paint from your local games work workshop, because that's what I use. I just go to games work your workshop and just get the base paint colours like white, red, black, blue, so I can touch you know, touch up these slight paint issues uh, that if they are, you know, niggling you, you can just fix them up so easily. Plus, over time, when you're posing figures and you, you drop them and you scuff them, you sometimes leave little scuff marks and things on them, and you want to repair that sometimes. So it's very easy to do when you have the right colours. So Games Workshop's good for the colours, guys, just to give you a heads up. But other than that, guys, I'm actually impressed with this figure. Like I said, it's from my childhood. It's definitely something that I've always wanted, this figure. Um, <clears throat> I may collect a few more of them over the years, like the, the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Uh, prob it just depends. I, I won't probably buy them full priced, if I'm honest, because I already collect a lot of other lines. So it'd be an additional line to collect, which I don't want to do. But I'm, if, if I see these on offer, like I have done this time, um, like when they come down in price and I've got some money left at the end of the month, then it's definitely something I would look to pick up. Obviously, I would like to get a leather head. Uh, like I said, if they made the Ace, the Ace Duck Bomber, I think it was called, I can't remember his full name. If they made him, I would I would buy that in a heartbeat. <clears throat> and you know what? I still want to get the movie version of Shredder and Splinter for my, uh, you know, movie turtles. As you, as, you, as you recall, I have reviewed the movie turtles on this channel already, so go check that out if you haven't. But yeah, either way, the thing is pretty decent, guys. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you smash the subscribe button for me. Subscribe really supports us. It really helps us out and it helps us keep making awesome videos. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, turtles in a half shell. Turtle power! <laughs> May the force be with you. Bye!